Hi, Tony Bear here at LAX. Uh, man was trying to fly on KM KML to uh, uh, a foreign country, I think Canada, I believe, and he was told he needed a test right away. But the airport, it takes two days to get the results back, but the airport police actually talked to the uh, testers and uh, they did a special thing. They let them have it results in the, uh, I guess, uh, 90 minutes. So LA, LAX Airport Police really uh, stepped up this time. The man was going off, but it was a happy ending. Hope you enjoyed the video. Here he was told he needs the, uh, the test to fly and he's been he's arguing with the, uh, with the ticket people. You need a COVID-19 test. And he was being loud. I guess he was uh, Air France, and they called in the uh, airport police. You need a test to go to uh, France. I think in, uh, I believe in France they have a uh, lockdown, the virus. Okay, how you feel? I've seen you. Hire, they don't hire. But I said they hire me, they don't hire. Everything I test. So I want to know the reason why they are testing. That's real. He's being very uh, verbally abusive to ticket people. Because uh, he has to have a uh, COVID 19 uh, test. I introduced myself over there for them. So who, 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 who is that? Who is the leader over there? I don't know who is the leader over there. None of them is leaders. I'm telling you, none of them is leaders. Because that's the airline right there. I'm not sure what airline is. That, I, I, that's just not Air France, but I'm not sure the lady in the blue with the airline that is. Could be Germany, I don't know. I guess it is. A, I'm confused because the, the, uh, the uniforms are different in Air France. But he's not going to get anywhere get, being that loud. Uh, he can take a test here for 150 bucks, I believe. So I guess it is Air France. There's a lady behind the counter talking to the Air France rep. Yeah, the webcam one. The LAXL police don't have their 
body cams yet, but I guess a lot of the officers buy their own body cams. I guess the officer is telling him he can get a test here at the airport, but they do charge. But uh, Air France, Germany, London, very strict on the uh, COVID virus. A lot of lockdowns going on in Europe. I know this cop, he's a good cop. Fair but firm. I think this is the um, testing here. I believe they have, they have the testing. I could be wrong. Yeah, COVID testing here. So he has to get a test. And uh, the cops are telling him, you know, if you want to fly, you're going to have to test here. So I think it's 150 bucks. So. Uh, 
Well, he's not a happy camper. He's being made to take the test. I think it takes two days for it to go through, too. That's the funny part about it. All right, so he's going to take the test. He's not going to go, he says. Right here, the testing here. I had to get the 150 bucks. Because some some uh, countries and states, you have to have like Hawaii, you have to have the test. Okay, so he states he's not gonna fly unless they. Uh, he's not gonna fly. Period. So that that's gonna be that. Okay, so he's gonna go downstairs to the bus. I guess to the train, he's not gonna fly. You follow me, come follow me. 
because it became very last time. You can't stand over there. If I did it, some of you, you get your closer to me, I'm telling you. You can apply your gas. You talk it before you get to me. And then you, because I'm not, you can't come to me. Because in your mind, you can't come to me. You know what I mean? You want to change, to repent, or whatever you are doing. And you are not going to speak to me. Hi. Maybe you need to stop going further. And you are busy with what you are doing. Who can come to what I do? None of you who can stand before me. None of you who can stand before me. Let them say. I was telling them the test takes 48 hours. The airlines wants they uh, they test with the, with the results right away. So he's going to have to go home. That's about it, I think, here. You have to have a test to fly on Air France. And that's a wrap. Okay, I think he's from Guyana. They were telling me that in Guyana you have to have uh, a test uh, with the results right away. Otherwise, you can't get into the country. So he's coming back in to talk to the cops. And the cops would have helped him if he was nice about uh, nice about it. But it's not him, it's the country, it's not France, it's Guyana. Tom Bradley. Oh, this is going to be a wrap.
All right, talk to you guys later, man. This is a test line, but it takes two days to get the results. He has to have tests right away to prove to Guyana that he took the test. So that's a wrap here at, at Tom Bradley. He's going to take a uh, get it done somewhere else and come back for another flight. Tony Bear is sounding off here at Tom Bradley. Talk to you guys later. Okay, so they all have their gloves on, but I guess they gave the guy a last option to leave, otherwise be arrested. So basically, he's going to leave, and that's a wrap here at LAX. Yeah, the cop gave him some water to calm him down a little bit. Talk to you guys later. They're gonna rush the uh, test. It normally takes two hours, two days. They're gonna rush it for an hour and a half. And Sergeant asked if I was he hungry. So he, they're gonna rush the test for him. They normally don't do that. It takes two days. But in this case, they're gonna rush it. Okay, he got real lucky. The LAX Airport Police got, got it where it takes normally two days to get the test results. They got them to do it in 90 minutes. So, LAX police went to Yond to help this man out. Okay, so that's a wrap. LAX Airport Police. They made them uh, do it less than two days, so it's possible. He was uh, going off with the police and everything. So now he has to wait for an hour and a half for the results, and he can go on KLM and fly. This is Tony Vera signing off here at LAX.